Hi everyone and welcome to this Friday's webcast. I wanted to come on today to talk to you about all the energies that are kind of surrounding us right now. And if you haven't been aware, if you haven't felt it, we are in the middle of a bunch of planets going retrograde. So we have the Jupiter retrograde and we are also coming into another lovely Mercury retrograde. Now a lot of everybody's like, oh my God, I'm you know, Mercury retrograde and they get all scared about it, uh, especially if you're trying to work on projects or opportunities or things coming your way. But really you can use this energy to your advantage because if you do, um, if you are involved in a project, whether that be creative project, work project, um, the only thing that Mercury retrograde really guards against is if you want to pitch new things, new ideas, new people, but you can go back to any of your old contacts or things you haven't tied up because the last three months have been, there's been so much movement in the last three months that there's a good chance you had a lot going. So it's almost like the energy was moving so fast that you were making connections and networking and making all sorts of opportunities for yourself that there was almost too much to go around. So in this period of now till about mid-May, you want to go back to those things and realize just you want to be thorough. You want to tie up loose ends and you want to make sure that everything is completed before the May energy kind of comes around and catapults you into that new opportunity. So this Mercury retrograde is actually a good time to revisit, redo, replace all those reads if you think about it. Now the Jupiter retrograde coming into combination with this Mercury retrograde is causing people to be a little irritable. So if you yourself have been a little angry or you've been like, why are people just, you know, flipping out everywhere and why am I feeling all this tension and this energy kind of wherever I go? The best thing I could tell you is that the energy is not only moving, so we have planets moving in retrograde, which is, is appearing to move in reverse. So we have energy slowing down and at the same time we have cosmic acceleration. So we have fast energy and slow energy moving together. So it's like people want to move fast, but then there's a halt and it's kind of irritating. Like you can't really understand why you're having this duality of emotion that's kind of going on with you right now. The best thing I could tell you to do, <laughs> and this seems pretty simple, but try if you have that rise of irritation, anger, or you're ready to react, try taking a pause. Just don't return the text, email, or phone call right away. And I know that's hard to do because this energy is like, we want to get things done, we want to accelerate, but we also are having um, kind of a, a shutdown right now. So wherever you go, and, and the more you're in like city environments or places where there's a lot of congestion or a lot of people, the more you're probably gonna run into this um, type of energy. So the best thing I could tell you to do is not do anything and just be silent because the moment you engage in something, it will snowball. And then you're gonna have to be looking back saying, oh my God, how did I get myself in this situation? But if you're wondering, hey, is it me? <laughs> no, it's everybody. We're all going through it. So I just wanna just let you know, just hang tight and let the energy dissipate and take a pause. And if you have to like shut yourself in your room or lock or, or just walk away or drive away, whatever you have to do, that's the best course of action right now. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little, cause I know you guys like your cards. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a card um, maybe one or two. I'm just going to see what the universe is leading me to do. And I'm going to pick a card for today because I think some of you really need some inspiration moving forward. So let me see what the card is coming up for today. Okay. Here's the card. Now, I'm working on getting some new technology <laughs> for myself. Um, and I think my cards are still backwards, but as I progress to some new technology, and, and of course I'm not gonna do that in a retrograde. I mean, are you crazy? So I'm still in this backwards motion here, which says forgiveness, okay? So this card is coming to you, and you think, well, forgiveness, is it to someone else? And, and sometimes it is, okay? But with the retrograde and 
the Jupiter moving backwards, this aspect is asking you to forgive yourself for things that you haven't accomplished, haven't done, or for things that you really, you know, kind of are beating yourself up, up, up for. Like you, you've certainly moved ahead in the last three months. But now it's like you're thinking, well, what did I do wrong? Where did I go wrong? Why am I not moving ahead? And forgiveness is, you know, sometimes, yes, we have issues. We need to forgive other people. But this aspect with Jupiter is having us to go in and heal parts of ourselves that maybe we've acted out on a lot. And we have to forgive ourselves for not being perfect and not, and not you know, doing everything we want to do at this time. You will get there. You are on the road to getting there. You just have to, at this point, not get crazy. And as you can see, my energy is a little bit high. So you just don't want to get nuts. That's, that's really what I'm telling you because you're going to regret it. So any argument you engage with, with this energy, sometimes you're hoping the other person will diffuse the argument and they will calm you down. At this point, you're like going force against force here. So the best thing to do is is let it ride and look down look in your psyche use this as a time of reflection of spiritual reflection and forgive yourself for anything you feel you're not doing right or moving ahead believe me be thorough right now cross those t's and dot those i's because once may hits and the warmer weather months go the rocket ship is taken off and you want to be on it okay so i just wanted to give you that message and also tell you that um, I'm going to be doing more videos. I'm going to be trying to go live a little bit more, trying to figure out how I can do some readings and have some of you guys be moderators so that you can help me kind of keep people at bay while I give a message to one specific person because it's so hard over Facebook Live because there's so much coming in. The other thing is I wanted to um, let you know about an upcoming show. Um, my hometown is Scranton, Pennsylvania, home of the office but we call it Scranton back there. And I have the opportunity to go back um, in May, on May 5th to the Scranton, or the Scranton Cultural Center and do a show there back in my hometown. Very excited about it. So if you go to my website, which is connectionbeyond.com or you're on Facebook, it's the pin to post for the show, or you can go to scrantonculturalcenter.org or to Ticketmaster and um, I would love to see you at the show. So stay tuned for some more videos, and I hope you enjoyed um, this little ray of hope, little ray of sunshine for tonight. It's really not all that bad. Things will move ahead. Just be patient. I hope you have a wonderful Friday night, and I will see you soon.